Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umoka and I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to apply lateral load on a structure while modeling or performing a design on the software for that structure. Now, most people have, um, apply lateral load, for example, horizontal load wrongly and all that. They, they, they tend to use the gravity load instead of using the, the the actual horizontal lateral load now i'll be showing you how to apply that now if you look at this structure you are seeing here this is a steel platform and this platform is going to be built inside an existing um, portal frame or warehouse now this is a medical facility i know that and you can see the tax here that is given to me to perform on this steel um, platform which you're seeing here and you can see all the, all the dimensions are all given here and that they are given in feet but I'll be working with what metric that's millimeter now going to, to the tax here now you can see that they says that what analyze with a structure um, analyze with a with a structural analysis using what um, put a structure specified then you cannot see that they also say that the loads now for the for the loads dead load which is the self which is the self weight plus what one kpa now they have already given me that i should use this load for on this steel platform as a dead load and then the life load as what as nine kpa all right and which is um for the for the to support the heavy equipment that that will be laid on or or, or that will be laid on this platform now the most important thing there is is this one here that says apply 2.5 kN as horizontal load right you see as you apply 2.5 kN as what as horizontal load which will cut out or take care of what of the seismic effect because this structure is meant to be built in canada and all that so canada experiences um earthquake effect so when you're designing for any structure in canada you must apply um, um, earthquake load and all that now because this structure you are seeing here is to be built in an in already existing structure since there's already a warehouse that will that will house this steel platform all right there is no need for you to apply the full seismic loading on this structure because the structure which is housing this steel model or this or this steel um, platform is already designed against earthquake is already designed against earthquake or seismic load now in the course of that just to um, take everything in, into consideration we will be adding a load of 2.5 kN um, load as a horizontal load at the ends at the at the joints of the column you can see there they say seismic at the top at the column top applicable in both direction so we will be applying 2.5 kN load at the top of the columns where there is a connection between the column and the and and the beams on the platform so we are going to apply that load in case there is any kind of vibration or gram movement knowing that it will attack the joints but since we have already applied this load the joint will be safe okay that's fine so with this now i will then move on to to show you how to apply the horizontal load we have already modeled this structure on the software put that structure let me now walk you to, to, to that place now now but before we go please if you're new on ekidel consider subscribing and also please like this video and if you want a one-on-one -on -one training on design of structure using this software then i will advise you enroll for ekidel mentorship training which is just 250 dollars and it runs for six weeks okay that's fine now, if you need anything, you can just also check on our bio. You can see our store bio there and then get what you want. So, on this model now, I am using the software for the 25 version, 25 version. And then to apply, once you're done with your model, now, now you, can, you can see that I've already done, um, I've already done modeling this structure, which you uh, we are seeing um, over here, which we are seeing, um, let me just open that up, sorry, which we are seeing. Um, around um, here correct so i have already modeled for this structure the next thing now to do is to now analyze and 
so it loads and then analyze and design for the structure okay that's fine so i'll minimize this now and then go back to the software here and open this up okay now so on this place now we added this additional one here we added these ones else it wasn't here before but we are trying to um modify this t platform so because the one that is already existing is having some um is having some issues based on um, based on what deflections and all that so we are trying to check if the steel member that they used before was was the actual was the right size if the building was designed for or not so that's what we are, we are, we are, what we are trying to check and all that okay so let me just hide this now if i hide this now uh then so this is how the the this is how the platform is currently existing and all that but we added that to be able to stiffen uh, around that area okay so right now to now how to apply horizontal load on a structure or on a column first thing you do is to come here click on the column and then right click and then you will see um, edit loads you click on edit loads now now many people do this wrongly very very wrong now you can see that the value of that load is 2.5 kilo newton so knowing that it is a kilo newton the only load we are we are we are going to use here is the point load icon because it is the point load that has the the that load unit that says kilo newton all other loads here has kilo newton per meter and all that which we are not working with so we are dealing with what kilo newton and that falls under point load now when you come to point load now we have several load cases several load cases that we have now in that course you can see that as soon as we click on point load you can be, you can be able to see the, the the load here is showing here already as an arrow now this is a gravity load is a is, is is a gravity load and what we are asked to add is a horizontal load which is not a gravity load but a lateral load so in that course now, for you to apply lateral load, we have several load cases here, beginning from the dead load, life load, and then initially, if you don't if you don't apply wind load, you won't be able to see all these wind load combinations and all that, or load cases. You won't be able to see all these wind load cases. All you see is dead load and life load, and most people go ahead and apply the load. For example, they just can apply two point five. Around that and then come here and then um, click here when you have done this what you have applied is what you have applied is a gravity load which is a point load pointing down is a gravity load and not a lateral load and in that course you are you are you are indirectly not loading what will happen in the real life and knowing that design we load based on what we occur during the time of usage of that structure. So if you are doing this before to apply your load, that is wrong. You are wrong on that. So right now, I'll come now and then delete this. I'll come here now and then delete this load. Okay, that's fine. So right now, for you to app so now for you to apply a lateral load, you must be seeing the loading combination of WX and WY. Now, I will then go back to this place now and click on point load here. Now, on that point load now, the next thing I will do is to come here and make sure I change. I will not apply it on the dead load and life load because even if I come here and say dead load and then come here, put in the value 2.5 and then come to this, to this place, direction, change it and then put X direction. And yes, I will be able to see it going horizontal. If I click on this, what will happen is that this value of 2.5 will be multiplying by the dead load factor of safety, which is wrong, totally wrong, all right? So you must not use dead load or life load while applying your lateral loads or while applying your horizontal load because the factor of safety is different, all right? So in that also, this is also wrong. So I'll come again here and then delete this. I'll come now and take this off. Come here and delete loads. Okay. Okay. So right now, for you to apply horizontal load correctly, 
you must come here and then choose this these two load case which is wx and wy note that it was said that we should apply the load on both directions let me show you just now now you can see it here it was broadly said that we should apply the load of 2.5 kilo newton as a horizontal load on you can see at the column top applicable in both direction now where is the both direction of our column knowing that a steel column has web and flange it has both web and it has a flange if you look at it there it has a web and it has a flange so in this case now we are going to apply the load on the web and also on the flange okay so with that now if you look at this you, when you're applying your load you must work with this uh ucs right with this your ucs so with this now i will then come here and why i'm still on point load here i will come here click on this place and then click on what wx so i want to apply the load of 2.5 now on the x direction or the x axis so on that now I'm, i must make sure i come here and change this gravity to what x all right and i'll come now and i can see where the load is actually facing is that the what is that the um, web right so i'll then come and then click on this place here i'll click here now we have applied the load of 2.5 kilo at the top of of this place on the web direction which is the x direction i'll then come again here come here and change to click on this again and then come back here and change to y direction and then click on this correct and then i'm in y direction now i will then come again here 2.5 again and i'll come here click on this gravity load here and then i'll come and click on the y direction and by doing that you can i will now rotate this place you can see where the load is facing now on the flange so i'll then come again and click directly at the top there and then we will have our load there facing on the flange so so with this now if i come here now and click back on this and then um so you can see now that we now have what we have two loads one on the x direction as you can see that and you can see that and then one on the y direction as you can see that so sorry one on the y direction which is um, this other sorry yeah so so you can be able to see the y direction here so let me just bring this downward now by coming here by bringing this downward like this correct so if we click on the x direction now you can see our load there and the y direction you can see our load there so if we click now on the loads here you can be able to see if i check the, these two values check this x direction and then hold my control key or check this one you can be able to see the, the two of them x direction and y direction so this is how to apply the load horizontal load on a structure now you can see that that from our tax it was said that we should apply it at what at the top now what if you are applying it at any point around the colon span or at the bottom now i'll be showing you that in our next class how to apply that on any direction but this is how to apply horizontal load all right that's fine so you can watch this again so that you can be able to know how to apply that Thank you so much and see you on our next one but now if not say okay now if i say um, click on okay now by doing the um, okay now if i come here and click on, on just hover on this you can be able to see our load now is showing point loads are there this words uh f w x 2.5 w y 2.5 which is f x 2.5 and f y 2.5 all right that's fine so i can just to copy this now and copy this load and then say copy load I'll say yes to other columns which I have here. Hold my control key and select all these other ones, and then right click now and then paste. I'll say paste um, load, paste loads. So with this now, you can see that we have been able to paste load on this. All right. Can we have? If you just over this now, I see that this one also has load. If I open it now and say edit load, you see that that column which we pasted the load also have that lot of. You can see the loads here okay so let me just um, take say cancel that so you can see that it also have this also have the load here open this again right now right click here and then uh, oh, yeah, the edit loads you can also see the load here which is also here so this is how to apply you can see load here on x direction 
and then on y direction okay that's fine so this is how to apply the load okay that's fine so see you again on our next class bye for now